Yo guys, what's going on? Today I'm bringing you a video on a £450 budget gaming PC build. So I believe this will be a great PC and it only costs £430 just around at the moment. But I put this at £450 as that seems like the core type, type of price that you pay than £400 to £450. So yeah, we're going to move on by starting with the CPU. So the CPU is an Intel Pentium G450. 560, sorry, that was well, it costs £58.80 and it has high threaded and it does two cores, so it's gonna be great for gaming as well. It only costs £60, that's always a start, but yeah, um, but it's gonna be great because it's got high threading, meaning it has four, it'll act as a four core uh, processor, what means it'll be. Uh, compatible with all the AAA tiles so yeah now we're going to move on to the RAM the RAM we have here is the Kingston Hack Fury X 8GB well it's only one DIMM slot taken so then you have space to upgrade to 16GB later on in the line so it only costs £49.90 um, and it has a clock of about I think it's 1600 or something but yeah, that, that's good for gaming and should work fine with this um, PC for gaming. So now let's move on to the motherboard. What is the Gigabyte GAB150M E3H? What is basically one of the cheapest motherboards there has all everything you need. It's made by Gigabyte, so it's a well known brand. So it has um, a, basically all the things you need without any extras put in so you're saving money for things that are just wasted and put in that you don't really need at all anyway so yeah now we're going to move on to the graphics card what is the MSI 1050 Ti 4GB gaming X well this is a great graphics card um, it's got enough VRAM to do pretty much everything you need to do with gaming anyway like mine's only 2GB and so it works fine so this is a great graphics card and it only costs £154.98 Well it's quite cheap for graphics cards you may know if, if you took up to a building before it's quite expensive But now let's move on to the storage The storage is a um, Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB This costs £42.98 and it's great for just basic use and putting your Steam library on and everything so, if you want to upgrade that and like get better boot times and everything, you could buy an SSD. I think mine costs about £40 and it'll do the job. So now, moving on to the power, what is the EVGA 600W 80 plus certified? This only costs £40.32 and it's great for like, if you want to upgrade because it's got loads of space. But at the same time, you're probably not going to need a 600 watt anytime soon, so you could downgrade your 500 watt one. But just add you the VGA as they're well known for making that all course there. So, yeah. Uh, now we're going to get onto what everything's being put in. So, now let's get to the case. What is the Ben, ben Phoenix Nova ATX Mid Tower case? Sorry, if I pronounced that wrong, I have no idea how you pronounce it. But it costs £29.39. And it's a great case for what it is, so yeah, as you can see on the picture, it's got a side panel and it's white, so if you get what I mean, it's kind of going with a white dog, except the rubber board and everything, because the RAM is also white, and yeah, it'll just all look good together, so if you want to build something that with a white setup, this is what you're going to want. Um, it's just great for looks and say if your friends care and be like, oh my computer's awesome, it looks awesome. And yeah, it just gives you aesthetics and what you could possibly want from your PC. So the parts are in the description on PC Part Picker. Um, PC Part Picker will be giving you the cheapest waiting at get at the cheapest at what whatever time. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video guys, and uh, leave a like if you want more, and remember to subscribe. So yeah, see you in the next one, let me know if you want more videos like this, goodbye.